everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about different types of dentists. And before we jump in, if you ever have a specific dental question, type your question into Google and at the end, type teeth talk, and then you'll find an article or video of me explaining the answer. So let's go over the different types of dentists and different types of specialists to make sure you're seeing who you need to see. Let's start with general and family dentists. All dentists and dental specialists start out as general dentists. This is your typical dentist's office. Most people like having a family dentist because they can pick an office and stay there. Your family grows up with them. If there's an emergency, you already have an ongoing relationship with the dentist in their office. It's easier to schedule everyone's appointments and checkups in the same place or at the same time. All general dentists will offer basic services such as fillings and crowns, but only some will offer specialized services such as gum procedures, root canals, braces, extractions, etc. So they may or may not have to refer you out to a specialist for some of these more major services. Or they may perform some of the services in their offices themselves if they went for more training in those particular areas. So if you need or want a specific service, just ask your dentist's office if it's something that they offer or if they typically refer out for it. So now let's talk about the specialties that oftentimes, but not always, require referrals. Orthodontists. Most everyone has heard of an orthodontist. They are the dental specialists who provide orthodontic therapy. Their offices will generally only provide treatments related related to braces or aligners, and they usually see people of all ages. Your general family dentist will usually refer you to an orthodontist if you need your teeth straightened or have a significant malocclusion, where your teeth are crooked and your jaws are out of line. Lots of general dentists can and will provide clear aligners in their offices, but they most likely will refer you out if they feel your case is more involved. Oral and maxillofacial surgeons. Oral surgeons are the specialists that you see if you need some type of hard or soft tissue therapy in the oral anatomy around your teeth. You probably have heard of the oral surgeon being the one who takes out your wisdom teeth. Extractions, sedation, anesthesia, dental implant placement, cleft palate repair, sinus lifts, jaw reconstruction. Essentially, they bridge the gap between a dentist and a traditional medical surgeon, specializing in oral, head, and neck anatomy. Periodontists. When you have aggressive gum disease that isn't responding to traditional dental treatment, your dentist will probably refer you to one of these gum experts. Periodontists also provide dental implant placement, just like oral surgeons. And since they are gum experts, they also provide gum grafting, bone grafting, gingivectomies, gummy smile treatment, and of course, gum disease therapy and treatment. In most cases, patients with gum disease will usually alternate visits back and forth between their general dentist and their periodontist, at least until their gum health is under control. Endodontist. These are your root canal experts. If your dentist wants to help you save a tooth instead of extract it, but you need more than just a basic root canal, they'll often send you to an endodontist. Some dentists choose to do their own root canals and some don't. And some do some root canals, again, depending on how involved your case is. But regardless, it's good to know that the endodontist is the specialist in diagnosing chronic tooth pain, cracked teeth, abscessed teeth, fractures and root canals in teeth with curved or twisted roots. They also provide retreatments. So if you had a root canal and you need another one on the same tooth, you'll most definitely be referred to an endodontist because endodontists have special equipment like microscopes to see down into the nerve canals. So if you have a tricky tooth, they can solve your problem. Prosthodontists. When you need full mouth reconstruction, oral rehabilitation, or even expertly designed restorations like ceramic crowns and veneers, dentures, a prosthodontist is your go-to point person. They specialize in restorative treatments that enhance your oral function and appearance. They can also help you design custom dentures and fixed implant prosthetics. And they usually work closely with your general dentist or your implant provider, whether it be your oral surgeon or your periodontist, because again, this is usually for full mouth reconstruction. Prosthodontic offices also provide a wide range of restorations that you won't necessarily see in other specialty practices. And lastly, pediatric dentists. Pediatric dentists are probably the most common type of other dental expert that families are used to seeing. These experts specialize in seeing young children, kids with special needs, and teens. Again, your family dentist, your general dentist will see kids. They are used to seeing families, but some families prefer to see the pediatric dentist when their kids are small, and or sometimes kids are referred to see a pediatric dentist if they need more involved work done. Again, it just depends on a case-by-case -case situation. And one more thing to know, there are other dental specialties who are a bit less common, like oral radiologists and oral pathologists. You might see one of them if you ever need severe treatment or have a unique condition, but otherwise, in all, no matter who you see, make sure you're comfortable with them. I have a whole video all about how to find a good dentist, which goes into detail about things you can look for in a dental office and decide whether or not it's a good fit for you. I'll link that video of mine in the bottom bar below 
below if you're interested in learning more. And I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.